in our our hui, our hui is called um, Mala Mahalo, our hui kui kalo. And we basically go around and we share in the community um, the art of kui ai, which is pounding of, of poi, or kui kalo, kui ai. Uh, but yeah, we go around and we share uh, about Halua, which is the, the true name of our, our elder brother, our kalo plant. Uh, Halo is the connection for us as Hawaiians to both the Aina and to the Akua. Um, when you guys come, it's free. You guys come and participate. You guys can come in Kui Kalo, make your own poi. You guys can make and take. Um, if you've never done it before, it's it's okay. I, I wasn't raised making poi. Uh, I was raised eating it. But um, we all can learn. So no shame. You just come and enjoy yourself. You can come as many times as you like. And it's all free. Um, all for aloha and what else to say other than, oh, I'd like to acknowledge the Kononui Ohana with us today. So we have Uncle Howard over there and uh, everybody we've to Uncle Howard is over there, Uncle Howard and then Auntie Gladys. Yep. And then we have Nikki. Nikki's around, she's over there cleaning, but um, yeah, we go around and we share in the community and uh, we go all around Ho'olauleas and everything and this is carrying on the work of Uncle Jerry Konanui in the community to share and to teach and our ultimate goal is that people will be so ono and want to learn more that they would come and begin to have a conversation and we can encourage people to start growing kalo at home so that we all can be more sustainable and eat kalo and eat poi more than just once in a while. We want to eat it all the time. Because when we eat halua, we have halua. Our life continues and it grows longer and we become more healthy. So, mahalo. He comes from Hanamaui, and um, each island there is an alakai like myself who, can, who is uh, living on that island. From Kauai has an alakai, Oahu, Molokai, Maui, and Big Island. So um, this is this has been created so uh, people that would visit our our special islands here would would um, have something to remind them that they've been to Hawaii <laughs> because there's there's more of these authentic uh, skills and cultural practices such as how they um, still going on and like I this past summer I worked with some other youth uh, on this honey right here um, and the old saying is it, it takes a village to build a honey so many many hands the word we, we always, you always going to hear of Hale building is Laulima, which means many hands to make a project lighter and more enjoyable. Uh, this one, right, this design of a Hale, uh, uh, it could be used. People would say, uh, what, what kind of Hale for this? What kind of a Hale for this? Uh, sleeping, um, cooking, and whatever. Uh, it's, it all is based on once the holly is completed and once it's and 
then you're going to find out that uh, all the holly is dedicated and blessed, the full of and the foolish. That's what's going to set the purpose of the holly. This one right here is uh, going to serve the purpose of uh, Kalavaya, what he's done, how he prepared his upenna, his nets, and his, uh, what he does. From um, uh, all his knowledge, sharing uh, in, uh, in this holly, uh, Kalavaya, fisherman's holly, will be done here inside this, this, uh, this holly. Uh, you, you might have seen some hollies uh, over in Honolulu, the National Park there. Uh, also, there's uh, one that was I just completed on the outside, which uh, years ago uh, was built to serve as a school for kids who didn't do well in classrooms. So that, there was a big Haleho Pono Pono in uh, Honau now. And uh, years went, went, went by and uh, the Hale was, uh, the word is Palae, he just fell, fell apart. Oh, no, one, no one was uh, uh, in charge of Malama <laughs> to take responsibility, the Kuliana to Malama the Hale. So, um, uh, an uncle there who used to be involved with the school a long time ago. Um, he placed that kuleana on my shoulders to make sure what uh, what are you promised me? Ali is Ali going back up and I and I promise him yes he's Ali is going back up. So he passed away, he didn't see the completion but I needed to share with you folks uh, that the little um, uh, kuleana, the passing of the kuleana, the responsibility, the care I, I just feel like it's it's such a calling to, uh, to pass on this 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 knowledge to the youth. Um, it's it's my uh, it's my goal that before I I hala, before I pass on that I I can say I put one hale up in every district on this island. So I, I, currently I have only two more districts and then uh, I'll be done. Again, it's, it takes a village. Yes. Uh, since this is a fisherman holiday, yeah. would you expect, might, might you expect uh, a fishing fisherman to come up and, and uh, have blessings, do a, do a pule here or, and then go out no sharks, but lots of tuna, you know, that sort of thing. Um, as far as that is concerned, you know, as far as uh, um, protocols for a fisherman to, to have respect, uh, this, if, if it's all up to that Kalavaya, that fisherman. If he chooses to use this as his base, that's fine. But most of the time you're going to find them having their, um, their ahu, their little altar stone altar yeah, where they're going to give their, their catch, a portion of their catch to the, the afua, the amakua, the, the kupunas. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, in, in, in response to your question there, uh, this one right, right here, we, we're so happy to have uh, Uncle Chucky, who's a uh, Kalabaya, who, that's behind this. <coughs> so, once you see, of um, kupuna, like Uncle Chucky, actually sitting in here and mending his upenna, his That's the blessing. And, and sharing with the youth <laughs> how to patch the net, uh, then you can see, oh, that, that's, you can picture how it was done in the old days near the coastline. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's so important to me too that as people come and visit our islands, uh, without them seeing stuff like this, uh, alongside hula, alongside the other crafts, uh, they, not, they, they might not realize that oh, they, they actually been to Hawaii. So this is another accent, another uh, part of the experience of visiting these islands in the middle of the sea. So, well, uh, your your father was a Samoan, or a uh, mother. Um, yeah. How would that differ from the uh, uh, traditional Hawaii? Ah, okay. Uh, the design of the Samoan fale, 
you would see a round type. You, you would also see these. Um, again, uh, the, the fall is in Samoa. For those of you who might have gone, uh, visited Samoa, especially Western Samoa, which is where my, my Samoan side comes from, uh, they, they're very skilled. I mean, it's, it's a work of art. Um, yeah, the, the lashings, um, what I use here, because I, it's a teaching thing, is very simple on this. The ones you will see in Samoa, it's interesting. they actually will dictate gen, the family generation. In the actual lashing? Yes, the actual wow. lashing. The, the people who come and, and they can say, oh, that's where my family started, and then I... Wow. It's, and that's where I come, that's my line right there. That's, wow. And that's how, that's heavy. That's how important uh, the, 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 that part of the Hale building is. So They literally I, wove the Mo'okuauhau into the I, I, Hale. Yes. Wow. Okay. So, um, you know, there's so many things that uh, in, in, in many of our uh, cultural practices, whether it's Hale building, Kuiya uh, Kalo, making poi or uh, hula, that um, you, you're not going, it's not something that you're going to be able to ask like how God is asking me now. Because a lot of it is... A deeper level yeah, of reverence. Yeah, you, you, yeah. you have to be um, a little bit more committed to ask. But because it's, this is pretty basic, I'm so happy that I can share this, uh -huh. this with you folks. This part of Hawaii with you folks. So uh, I mahalo you folks again for for taking time out of your your day to come and, and check out uh, what we have to share with you folks. Um, those of you folks who are sitting on those those nice uh, no poa, mm -hmm. that's another part of my my uh, my kuleana is hapai poa. So I I know. Uh, it's very important that how you know, about Oahu. Um, so, is any, does any of you, anybody else, have a question that they nobody like know why is that there's two two alleys? Okay, well, some people came and asked earlier well, uh, why why the double roof frame oh, and yeah. the inside one is actually. My teaching tool. It serves <clears throat> as a teaching tool, and the people who come to help and want to learn, that's where I teach them how to tie, how to lash, how to vilipa, and that is called the olokea. It then it becomes it serves as a scaffolding, where we can sit down on side and thatch the roof and, until, and when the whole hale is completed, then the the olokea inside is taken down and move to the next hale, put back up again, the teaching goes on and on again. So, I'm hoping that we won't, we won't only see these things in museums or in national parks, but I hope that we, we can start seeing these things all over the coastline. You know, where, where, wherever there's a beach, she would have one of these, you know? Because the uh, first thing will happen is, take my picture, honey. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, oh, I want, <laughs> this is part of that. This is part of your experience. And and when I'm here and I'm working on and people come by and they ask questions, I go and I really offer, would you like to try like right now we're thatching? If, if you folks have the time you wanna try tile um attach a leaf, I, that's what that's another reason why I'm here. And if not, maybe the next time. I feel very blessed to, to be able to share this because there's not many of us. And that is another um, objection of, you know, our goal is to, because we have students that come from the main schools, colleges that come and spend a day or two on some of my projects. And it's a blast for them, whether we're working with Puaku or working on the Hali, um, they, they're always going to remember Oh yeah, and another thing is, I always tell them, if you anahana, on, if you help build a hale, it becomes a part of your responsibility 
your kulian <clears throat> to come and check how the Hale is doing. And if you come and you check and there's a hole in the, in the you better make sure you do something and find the leaf. Malama the Hale. If a rock falls, walk, walk, falls off the wall, you, if you will know that you will build a second, then well, you better pick up your rock and put it back on the wall. <laughs> That, that's your, Kuleana. That is your responsibility. So it's, uh, and that's the only way that by tying you folks, whether you live in the community or whether you're visiting from Pennsylvania, <laughs> this is part of making you folks not just uh, visitors, but actually having a perfect for your folks. Well, I hope you folks uh, uh, enjoy whatever I share, and if you guys have any other questions, uh, I, I'll, I'll be happy to answer or share. Mahalo, Uncle, thank you. Mahalo, mahalo everybody. And um, I hope you folks, uh, I think this happens once a month, so um, if you folks on the, on, the, on the island, better check it out. <laughs> this might be completed, and the next one going up. So, hmm? uh, you're not going to know until you guys come. Awesome, Uncle. Again, mahalo. Are we all?
Mama, he pressed the button. Oh, no, no. That has mana. You cannot just build them. You need to talk to the wood. You also need to do a pulley. Ask forgiveness. As you are forming each and every one of these pieces. And all the, the fibers that I use is new coconuts. You can also use how. That is formed and built. Comes in different sizes and different styles. I make it in the club styles as well as the spear styles of weapons and the spear style with all the short teeth on top. This is known as a fighting yuba. This is known as a little mono No. This is known as a club. This is known as a as a Niva Molly. What is it? What is it? What is on it? Can you describe it? And on this one is a Marley View tip with a sharp teeth on core. Then we have the potty cord. This is for engaging. All of these is engaging in war. This is also a potty. So what um, the similarities of the hula form and with the weapons. The ancient original hula dances was all the males. And any time when they did their dance forms, whether it be kahiko or regular hula, all of their movements was a strike force in fighting. You add that with your Neomano Nivas, and you have a full fox warrior that can fight. And the reason why I love this so much, because it's a part of who we are all, we all are. And this form of art is actually being lost. So I'm hoping to be teaching my new generations to come how to keep it going, that it can be shared and passed on to generations. Thank you, and you have a nice day.